Let's see what's in the safe. Let's see what's in the lockbox. Now, let's finally see what's in the military trunk. Are you ready? Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Today we're going to take a little break from our epic $1,000 storage unit because we just bought another storage unit online today at a facility never been to. This is actually their first time hosting an online auction. So let's go find out if we're dealing with scammers or we're dealing with a good facility that we can trust. Anyway, it looks like a decent unit. I think we got it for a decent price. So let's go see what we got. All right, so here we are, like you said, this facility never had it auctioned. So let's see how this one goes. It's a 10 by 15, we only paid 260 bucks for it. It doesn't look that full, but it was kind of just right down the road from us. So we're like, why not? Let's see what's in there. Let's get in there and open it. So we bid on it because look, some Tim's right at the front. We've already sold like three pair in the last day. That looks like a military box back there, doesn't it? The green one yeah. and that black thing looked like a lock box to me in the picture. That's the only reasons I really went ahead with it. And plus, like we said, it was really close. It's two minutes from the dump. So can't really go wrong with it. Let's start going through it. So this big coat, pretty much empty. We're kind of use it to fill up, but there's a Santa hat, a gorilla, a Fuji film camera. Look at this. I think you got it on your chain. Oh, there we go. I think you got it. So we've got a camera. That'd be worth a little bit something. Let's set that one aside. Let's get into this big tote here. This one's heavy. So let's put it on the tailgate. Yeah. All right. Let's see what's in this one. Can you see up here? I'll try. <laughs> Ooh, this one's full. Let's see what we got. So there's boots right here. What kind of boots are these? They're Sperry's. That's a decent brand. So that's one. Are these the same thing? But these are a different brand. I don't know what these are. They're not marked on the bottom. Let's look inside, see if it says. It doesn't say. Oh yeah, it does. They're Cliffs by White Mountain. I don't think that's expensive. So this. Yeah. Ooh, there's a century safe right there. Really? Dead. Oh, it's open. You ready? Yeah. Should right I open it now? Let's... Uh. No, 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 no. I want to wait. I want to be, I want to wait. Okay, light bulbs right here. There's an old Wheatback penny. What year is that from? 1949. All right, I'll keep it in there just in case. It's one of those that are worth a little something. Here's a, there's Sperry, the other one. So we got those. Ooh, look. Is that a jewelry box? Open, open. It is. Check that out. So, Got a couple pieces of costume jewelry, it looks like. Yeah, none of this is gonna be real gold, but costume jewelry, we'll take two because we just added to our costume jewelry lots. All right, we got, is this a wallet or a camera case maybe? Let's see. There's nothing in it but a CVS rewards card. So down there, every thought creates your future. Oh, Another one of the boots. Let's see, this is, Energizing your performance. It's just a planner, unfortunately. What's in here, though? This is kind of interesting. Some batteries. All right. We'll take it, I guess. Throw it in the big tote. And I'm saying, what's that? Why is that in there? A wheel lock tool? That's what that is? Looks like a socket wrench thingy to me, but. All right, if you say so. Right here, we're seeing, look a bunch of paperwork let's put it in there um a couple locks if they have keys we'll keep them we always need locks oh god okay they're toys i was like um <laughs> i really hope that's a toy look at this big pink bag is there anything in there not that i'm seeing just school paperwork and junk like that so let's drop it down printer. yeah there's a printer and there's a book for a jeep Another box. Oh, there's some few things under here. Let's put these CDs in here. In this. In this. 
All these are going in here. And that too. Go. Right, here's another camera too. This one's a 5 time optical zoom, 10.1 megapixel A1050. Another camera, we'll set that aside. This, ooh look. Oh, I thought it was a switchblade. It's like a can opener or something. That. Um, car keys. What's in the pill bottles? Pills and actual pills. That last unit has got me checking every pill bottle I find now. Look, there's the keys to his Jeep. We found the book and the keys so far. Nothing in there. Let's see if we got, what's that? That's a tape measure. <laughs> Boring. This looks like just basic office stuff, flashlight stuff. Yeah, it's just stuff. Uh, what's in this one? What's the princess box? Papers, papers, papers. More papers, pair of glasses, and just papers. Random toy cars. Look, there's like three toy cars in here. A green truck, an orange truck, and a tractor. All right. And, well, here's a card. You think there's money in it? No. But nothing else in there. Is that all that's in this box? So, and that is all that's in this tote. It is a sheets card. Other than the printer and the safe, which you're going to have to wait on. All right, let's take out the laundry basket because while well, sitting right on top, there's a guaranteed at least, even in that kind of shape. I sold some that there was a hole right here and paint all over the top of these for $35 on Poshmark. Like men's Tim's, people use them as work boots. I guarantee that's 40 bucks at a minimum right there. Um, ooh, look, some lunch. You want some ramen? No, uh, no thanks. Oh, you sure? <laughs> the rest of it might just be clothes and ramen noodles. Yeah, not a fan of either of those. So let's set that aside. This blue tote, very light. Listen to the rattle. There's something in it. We just don't know what. Ooh, let's see. Ooh, you know what that is? That's called junk. Look. There's a bag of change in here. More change. Change. Yeah, yeah it's just some pennies. Shoes. Well, that's not looking too promising right here. Is that a golden looking print? Yeah, all of this crap, that's legitly just, is that a gift card? No, it's an actual bank card. That is just a tote of trash. So this one appears to be all closed, but I do see a purse in there, so let's make sure it's not nothing super nice. Uh, it doesn't have a brand on it. So I'm assuming it's just an unbranded cheap one. You want that? Mm. Looks like goth South Park. <laughs> yeah, the rest of it is all closed though. So let's go ahead and just close this one up. Set it aside right here. Let me just go ahead and grab the next one, right? Yeah. Might as well. This one looks like, ooh, has lots of shoes and stuff in it. Ooh, get up. All right. So I see a nice book bag. At least it looks nice. ES or E5. Let's see what's in it. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, a fox. <laughs> and this. And what is that? Come here. A cross. At the bottom now. Is that an actual phone? It's a wallet. Ooh. Nothing in there but business cards though. Uh, not seeing much in here, but I feel like there's a back pocket. Ooh, there is. Are these all home decor though? Look at that, all of it. So nothing in that bag. Let's see what else is in the tote besides all these shoes and paper. Uh, not seeing very much, are we? Um, well, what's this over here? That's a Blu-ray player, dang it. I was hoping for a game system, but we'll take that for a little bit of money, at least, if nothing else. And, well, other than that, it's paper. Next tote here. Let's see what we got. I see magazines and VHSs and pictures and, well, a bunch of VHSs. Hmm. 
Most of these are junk. But there's like mostly old horror movies. Some of the really weird old corny ones are worth money, money. And I don't know if any of those are in here. See Forrest Gump, The Mask, Prince Purple Rain, and some more junk. Green Mile. Let's see if we see any old horror movies. Training Day. I don't think so. So this one is probably just going to go straight to the dump, to be honest with you. So this tote, we obviously have whatever this is, like a weed whacker or something. Is that what it is? Bush trimmer, maybe? Bush trimmer. It's Black & Decker. I like the blade. What about it? Rusty? Like rusty. rusty. Yeah. <laughs> that. And then we got this Tommy Hilfiger wallet box with no wallet. So let's see what's in this tote now. I'm seeing cheap shoes. One of my favorites. What is this even used for? I think it's for dogs. Alright. Uh, radio. And well... A whole lot of nothing is what I'm seeing. There better be something hidden out in here somewhere because we definitely don't have all our money back yet. But that tote is junk. So this tote, I see these boots here. They're definitely work boots. They're Die Hard brand. I don't really know if they're worth anything or not, but the condition, if they're work boots, I mean, usually you still sell them because nobody cares. They're not looking stylish. They're trying to not get their feet broken. So that. Which one should I go through next? Here. Blankets. Nothing else. Just one a blanket. blanket. One blanket. Yes. This is just a freaking air mattress, it feels like. All right. A freaking air mattress there. Boring. Um, well, this, what's that? Pedipal. What? Cut the dog's nails or cat's nails. Oh. Well, it's in there, so it's something kind of strange. All right. The rest of it, though, is plastic junk. But what's in this one? Ooh, look. A box. You hear that rattle? Barbie. Oh, it's Barbie? Yeah, turn it around. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's old. Looking, at least. Let's see if there's Barbie in there. There is a Barbie in there, huh? Let's see how old she is. What do you think? New or old? In the middle. Um, she drew on the front stuff. <laughs> Wow. I don't see a date on her. It's not on the foot. It's not on the butt. Is it on the back? There it is. 1966. So that's a decently a old Barbie right there. And look in the under here. Oh, we maybe are. Might be clothes. clothes. No. Nothing. Well, maybe we'll find more Barbies in their clothes. Yeah, that's definitely kind of a cool little find. The best thing we found so far. So let's put that aside. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Trash. Oh, look at these. What are the... Since 1992. Fubus? Never heard of them. These look like off-brand Jordans. <laughs> they come from like Payless or something. <laughs> so those over there. That. Literally nothing else in there. Anything else in the bottom of this? Nothing. Tote bags, tote bags, and tote bags. A whole lot of nothing. So we got a little pet carrier here. A couple of bucks at the yard sale. Nothing too great. What's in here though? This, ooh, it's heavy. That's a good, a little good amount of money there at the ER sale, definitely too. Mm -hmm. It's heavy. So let's set it over here. Look what I see, some Star Wars comics. Star Wars? Check those out. Hmm. Based on a $3 price, I'm gonna assume they're probably not that old, but Star Wars, Star Wars Darth Maul. Amazing fantasy. Look at this Spider-Man book. I don't see a date on it though. Uh, I don't know. Another Star Wars one and another Star Wars one. That's kind of cool. Set the comics aside at least. See if there's any more in here. Let's just pull this up. God, get me. <coughs> Pictures. Check the cross. Or car, why'd I call it a cross? I don't know. <laughs> card. More pictures, pictures, pictures. Yeah, 
I see nothing in that box. Is there anything else in the tote though? Let's see, let's see. Um, this? Yeah. Throw that phone lock. <laughs> that. Here's the back to it if you want it. Alright. Shank me. Well, let's see if there's anything in this tote. Ooh, let's see. Oh, there's a di Ooh, look. What do you think that is? Oh, boy. A note. A secret note, huh? Come out, come. Jeez. Oh, you got it in there yeah, pretty good. There's a lot of paper stuff in that little box. I know. Just a love note to a beautiful woman on Valentine's Day. Spending with you is the only way. Yes, roses are still red and violets are still blue. And if something happened to you, I surely would die too. 2007 is where we began. 2009, you're still my Valentine. Happy Valentine's Day. That was a good poem. That was decent, yeah. I'll give him props. Good job, dude. Uh, and the only other thing in here is like a little ribbon pin. So that. Take your sunglasses. Uh, uh, uh. You think they fit my head? I look like the sunglasses from the comfy couch. No, these fit me. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> wear them. <No. laughs> but yeah, the rest of it is junk. Let's see what's in this big boy. Oh, it looks like clothes, but that doesn't mean it's all clothes. You can have this, whatever that is. That, whatever that is. This, whatever that is. <laughs> what's in here? Uh, oh, this is open. Open. What it is this? Oxygen regulator. Huh. Maybe that could be worth a little something. I'll set it aside for now. Maybe not. We don't know. Hey, look, trash bag. Close. This side. All the way down. Is close. Well, and. Ugh, one purse. Eh. Mmm. Yeah. We're just gonna put that in there because we didn't see it and set this tote aside. Just put this tote up here. It is extremely heavy. Very heavy. It doesn't want to open. Let's see. Oh boy. We got a lottery addict. Woo! <laughs> What's this? Is that TV why they stand? lost their unit? It's a good possibility. It really is. That envelope. Um, oh, paper, paper, paper. Junk. What's this? A wallet. Come on. Leave me something. What do you think's in there? Don't say nothing. Check your back pocket. I am. Not, I hear change. I got the zipper. No, there's what? some pennies in there. Money! Woo! Yeah. Um, is that a hard drive? Yeah. Another hard drive. We have a few of these. Uh, Keith, Keith Sweat. Sweat. Papers all the way down. On this side we have. Ugh. You'll never get. A couple pennies. Oh look, that's like part of a cash. What's that? Come on, come on, come on. Well, no, out. Let go phone. <laughs> Dang it. And the rest of what I see is all. Crap. Let's look into the little blue tote. Well, what is that? A heater? Yeah. Air conditioner? Um, well, let's see what else we got in there. Broken glass that was from GW. Picture frame, but hmm. I just wanted to make sure the frame looked like it could have potentially been silver, but no, it's not. More papers. More junk. More crap. More. I don't want to look yet, so close that. Put it to the trash pile. This we are waiting on because that's one of the reasons about the unit. Same with this. Let's just. What is it? It is a lockbox. So <laughs> we're gonna set it right here. Let's look in this red tote. Ooh, let's see. That's the personal picture. Hmm. American Chopper. What's in here? Let's see. Ugh. More crap, huh? Ooh. Nope. 
Um, well, there's these couple of little boxes. This is like a gift card holiday box. Yeah, maybe the gift card's still in there. Open. Why do they make it like this? They're like, here you go. Hope you have super long nails. I can't get it. That, nothing in there. Let me look in the rest of this tote really quick. Check that out. That's kind of cool. Might be antique -y, For antique. sure. That, same with this one. I can never tell if it's antique or made to look antique. You know what I mean? Yeah. That. Uh, let's put some, oh look. Willie Mays book. Big Mac's birthplace. Is that a legit newspaper yeah. for when McDonald's came out? Sorry guys, I zoomed too far in. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's cool. Cool, we'll definitely look at that and see if it's original. If it's original, I imagine it has to be worth a little something. There's a knife. Where? Oh. <laughs> Ready? Oh. It's plastic. All right, let's see what's in some of these frames in. Some of them could be something cool. Like this, look. The 1948 trucker. Maybe worth something. If these are original, like I said. Those could be worth some money. What's in here? Nothing. Nothing. A couple of vinyls. Cars. Look. Marvin Gaye Live. One vinyl. Oh, look at that. Now hmm. millions now. These are legitimate old advertisements. People collect yeah. old advertisements. That could be our saving grace in this unit. John F. Kennedy. Yeah, I'll grab that too. But here's another one of those old cars. Kind of cool looking. Look at that. Oop. That's a newspaper. The assassination of JFK, yeah. That's maybe something too. I'll add it over here as well for sure. You can't get in there either, can you? No, I mean, not with one hand. Oh, uh, well, look. The Bill Clinton $3 bill. Oh, <laughs> what? what is this? I don't know what that is. That's that woman that I did <laughs> not have sexual relations with at all. Well, yeah, other than that, I don't see much, but that's by far the most interesting tote we've opened. So it gives me a little bit of hope for the four stacked in the back corner. All right, let's take this tote here. Tote top. Uh, this is like, oh, I thought it was a cat toy. Oh. This is. Maybe, no. maybe not. I'm gonna stop trying to guess stuff and just <laughs> set it aside. What is this stuff wrapped up in glass this time? These are all bottles. Check that out. Oh, cool. This is the kind of stuff I think is cool that could be worth something, but I'm always scared of it because you guys know how the post office is. They're like, all right, what is that glass fragile? Put that over here. <laughs> What's that say? Very thin glass, $7,000. Cool. <laughs> all right, $6,000 art. Oh, I got to you broken. I have no idea how. How did it, how'd that happen? You know how that happened. Stop it. <laughs> What's in here? More bottles. <laughs> the South Park episode over it. Or <laughs> oh, look. It's for you. Vintage Dr. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. That's cool, actually. I like this old kind of stuff. Pepsi. Or that's not Pepsi. It just looks like Pepsi, isn't it? What's in this one? Another old bottle, though. I want to see what it is. Hey, there it is. Pepsi Cola. <laughs> so, cool bottles. What's in this one? Is that a bottle, too? I can't tell. Looks like it is. Let's check it out. Come on out. Oops. Let me double wrap this one, huh? All right. This one must be very important. Looks like a wine glass in the bottom of it. It does. It is. Look, it's not even a bottle. Why'd you wrap that one up? Mm -hmm. You know what we can do here? Let's look for a date on this newspaper so we have an idea of when they Leave packed it. At the it. top. The trick we learned from storage auction pirate. Uh, I don't see one though. Well, I mean, it's not that long ago. 2017. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was about to say, I can see 2017. So, it hasn't been in there that long. A few years. Let's look at a few more. It's just a cup. That's, I don't even know. Let's see. Really quick. A couple little angel ornaments. Uh, yeah, oh, look. Pepsi plates. Coke. Oh, Coke plates. But still. Look at Oh, my foot saved it. 
I, it landed on my foot. Broke Look the at fall. that. Huh? Broke the fall. Yep. So some Coca Cola plates. The wall glasses there. Some more. And yeah, some more. So this one could be money or it could just have more of a personal value. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. So we're getting closer to the bat. First off, the cooler, surprisingly, perfectly clean inside. That doesn't happen very often in his business at all. I got you. Not one. <laughs> Two. A whole bag? Two teddy Two. bears. Better not sell them at a yard sale. You're going to sell <laughs> <Okay>. them, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> mean. Let's see. Want to get down this cup? Sure. Oh, it's full of water. I guess the roof leaks. Yeah, I guess. I see a puddle on that too. Yeah. Um. Well, they can have it. Let's see. Purses. Looks like brandless purses at that. Same with that one. Brandless. Brandless and beat up. Um. Let's see, I see some shoes here at least. What are they? Anything good? These are Canyon River Blues. That means nothing to me. No. <laughs> um, well, all the rest of the, what's that? There you go, you wanna wear that? <laughs> if it was new, maybe. <laughs> uh, well, the rest of it just looks like your typical cheap clothes, except for this but I don't think there's a phone in it and no money in it. But yeah, the rest of it, all the way down, is just your typical cheap clothes. So this one says winter sweaters and sheets. Sheets, what's a sheet? I sound like a French person taking a, you know what? <laughs> Sounds like you have a country accent. Yeah, that too. Um, this one, more of the same. Coat it up, or not on the side. I don't wanna look at it. Let's get into this one. It says daddy shoes and trays. Is that what uh, you're getting out of it? Yeah. Maybe we got some old Coca-Cola ones. Uh, oh look, there's some trays. decent Nikes. Check yeah, that's the out. brand of the boots, isn't it? Yeah. Check these out first. Not bad. They're not in bad shape at all. They're just a little dirty from being inside storage, but that'll come clean. Tip with this part of the shoe, toothbrush. Toothbrush will get rid of most of that grime pretty quickly. And again, said in the last video guys, Poshmark and eBay are both open. Go down in the description and click those if you're looking to buy some of the stuff we find in units. We're updating it as much as we can. Every day. Die hard. Ooh, look. These Stacy Adams, they are, but look at those bottoms. Are these Converse shoes? Check that out. Hmm. I've never seen, I wonder if these are like old. Yeah. I've never seen something like this in my life. It doesn't have a date on it either. Well, look at those. I've never seen Converse made like this. Weird. Last box is Sean White. Mm, and there's definitely some, not Sean White. No, some really beat up <laughs> shoes there. So keep I that imagine tote. those. Yeah, I'll keep that too. That stuff looks decent. Last tote in that back corner. Let's get more shoes. What are these? Hmm. I don't even know. They cheap. Yeah, they look very cheap, unfortunately. And so does. Clogs, though. Those are so dirty, kind of though. Moldy and dirty. Yeah. Ew, 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 ew. That coat is grimy. It go with the rest. To the trash. You want to see what's in the big one back here? Yes, I do. Let's open it up right here. Hmm. Well, is that like a food processor? I don't know. What do you think? Mm, yeah, I have no, no idea. idea. <laughs> <gasps> oh my goodness! The fish! Oh my gosh! This has so many nostalgic memories as a kid right here. Please work. No. We gotta Probably just needs batteries in it. In it. I'm it keeping on? this. Yeah, it's on. Oh, okay. 1999. <laughs> I'm keeping this for myself, just for the memory. Um. What else? Put me in the water. <laughs> like I just know it. All clothes. Drop me in the river. Junk. Think that's copyrighted? Probably. Mm -hmm. Waiting to exhale VHS. Anyone heard of that? Okay. Last little thing back here. Uh oh, those are usually Danbury mint bags. Let's see. Is this like the same kind of person we found last time? 
The I personalized can't get it open. one? Yeah, I need my knife in a second. Let me see if I can untie this. No, I'm gonna need to cut this and see what it is. All right, <laughs> let's see what this is. Let's cut through it really quick. There's that. Um, come on out. Out, out, out. It's like I cut it, but it just still doesn't want to let it go. There it goes. Now let's see. No way, really? The same exact purse. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Yeah, so what we found out are the people get these custom made with their initials. $140, I might add. But 140 bucks. This unless is brand you, new. Unless you find somebody with this G. stuff. It's kind of worthless. But if we do, then we got a good deal for you. <laughs> There's this tote all the way in the back corner. Let's see. What it is. So. Ew. Uh, Ew. Well, that that's looks all like, that looks like pee. You want it? No, stop. Oh, come on. Uh, there's this. Shoe box. What kind of shoes we got? Those actually haven't been worn. Hmm. All right. So, hey, they're 50 bucks when they bought them. So, it might be 20 bucks there in this box. Um, let's see what else is down here. A binder. Clipboard. Mail. Oh, clothes. Well, what's this? Another pair of shoes that maybe been worn once at the most. Yeah. What brand are those? And those are on sale for 20 bucks. So five or 10 bucks yard sale maybe. Uh, other than that though, I think that's all we got in this one too. Notes and more clothes. All right, so we just sorted through a lot of stuff as you can see in the back of the truck. Right now we're just gonna go to the dump because it's only like two minutes away because I don't want to have to bring the trash home and then take, pile it back on the truck another day, take it back to the dump, blah, blah, blah. So run to the dump, get rid of some of the trash and we'll come back and it's going through the unit. Gotta love those little country areas. You know how much the dump costs here? A massive bank breaking, zero dollars. Nothing, completely free. Gotta love it. Now let's finally see what's in the military trunk. One of the reasons I really bought the trunk, by the way, it's freaking metal. There's no wood there, so that's the trunk itself should have a little bit of value, wouldn't you think? Yeah. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Oh my gosh. We got a crock pot. Oh boy, five bucks if we're lucky. It's supposed to be like heavy machine guns and stuff. Forks. Forks. Uh, and a toaster. Boy. Well, that was a really anti-climatic mil military trunk. But, 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 we still have this. I swear to you guys, I literally have not looked into it because I want this to be legitimate. Can you hear that? What do you think it is? <sighs> Let's see what's in the safe. Gosh, are you kidding me? A battery and two nails. Boy. What, what's the point of that? Like literally, what is the logic to go through somebody's head when they decide to do that? That's right. It can't exist. <laughs> None. No logic. Well, the only other really thing left in the unit is this, which had a good rattle to it. Ooh, that does have a good rattle. Hear this? That's, that's, that's money. Changed. That's money. You ready? Let's see what's in the lockbox. Ooh, we got some change. We got like a dollar, but that, look at these. Stamp. Some crack, Cracker Jack. Roy Campbellola. Campanella. I wonder how old these are. 2005. I don't know if they have any value. Sports people let me know. And that's the back of it. Well, oh wait, hold on. Under. <gasps> Some cash. No. Nothing. That was a good idea though. I, didn't think I saw, that. I was like looking here and I was like, look at that spacing. That, that's got to move. But I wonder if these go to the safe. Because if they do, we at least have, they might go to this actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, let's see. No. Could be. Yeah, so I might go to the safe. The safe will be worth like 10 bucks at least if it's working. But other than that guys, that's pretty much everything in the unit. The only thing I didn't go through was there's plastic shelves right there. There's the shelves, there's the poles. But we're not selling those, those are gonna keep because you never can eat enough of those for this kind of business. So let's get the rest of it loaded up. Let's get it back home and let's do a recap. Before we can even do a recap, I'm psyched again. I'm telling you we got the magic touch this week. So we're going through the boxes in the garage, one of those cheap crappy purses. Guess what we pull out the bottom of it. I'm thinking costume jewelry, right? You know what that is? 
That's a 14 karat gold bracelet. It's in here because, you know, we have the nice gold chain that we got from the other unit, the gold ring, the ones we're not sure about. This whole ball pound worth of silver. I think it's only appropriate to take the gold chain in here. And look at this. There's the magnet. You see, magnet doesn't attach to silver, but stainless steel, it does. You know what it also doesn't attach to? Gold. Look at this. What a surprise. Nothing. No attachment at all. You know why? Because it's gold. Let me show you something else. Here's today's, right here, per gram, 14 karat gold, $33.84. So let's go ahead and put that in a calculator really quick. Hold on. $33.84 per gram. And let's go ahead and cut on the scale per gram. Put it on there, eight grams of gold times eight, boom. There's the money we paid for the unit right there. That little thing right there. And that's not even including nothing else yet. So now that I got that out of the way, it just blew my mind. I feel like I just have a magic touch. You can bid on anything right now. It's just gonna be like amazing. It's just been like the luckiest week ever. Let's head out to the garage and do the actual recap. All right, so before we get into the recap, let me point a couple things out. Number one, Poshmark and eBay are going ham right now. Look at this. This is all the prepackaged stuff already for just Poshmark. We have a bunch of stuff behind us that's going on eBay very soon. So make sure you click those links down in the description if you wanna buy some of the stuff. Don't forget, this Saturday, live auction, we have all kinds of stuff. Follow us on Facebook because we'll be posting a video showing all the stuff that's gonna be in this live auction. And it's pretty much everything you could think of. Knives, coins, money, toys, just everything. I mean, literally there's more than that, a lot more than that. But other than that, let's get into this. We took everything out. So luckily, like I said, since the dump was free and across the street, we didn't bring any trash home, which is always nice. Look over here. This is all the glassware that I had wrapped up. And I wanna take a closer look at these because you could definitely tell these are hand forged like not machine made at all. So if anyone's seen anything like this, let me know an approximate age or value or something like that because they're all like that and they're kind of cool looking. Also, skipped over a seashell. I don't even know why I kept it. It's kind of cool, right? Seashell, some wine glasses, some little angels. Up here, some nicer looking wine glasses. Then if you go down to the second shelf, by the way, this is the shelf that was in the unit. Yeah, right here. We kind of just used it to display everything. If you go down to the second shelf, you can see all the old soda bottles and things like that. That's another thing I don't know. If everyone says they're collectible, but from what I see, they don't sell for much. So you guys, let me know what you think we got there. Some plates and below, all the boots from the unit, which are quick, easy sales too. And then you have the other choke behind you, which is some more just random things that are worth a little bit of money here and there, but just weren't worth kind of showing yet. But overall, because of the bracelet, it's a good unit, I think. This stuff and all this is probably about $250 total, which we paid 260, so it wouldn't have been that good, but the bracelet pretty much paid for the unit, so this is all profit, and you can't beat that. Tomorrow, we will be back in the heavenly, godly unit that just keeps on giving to go through more boxes, totes, and bags, so be ready for that too. If you enjoyed it, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace out.